How's it going, guys? I got this t-shirt yesterday in the mail. It's a t-shirt um, commemorating the last month's victory over Alabama in Tuscaloosa, 34-24 over the Alabama Crimson Tide, which really seemed to where Quinn Ewers really seems to have won me over in terms of this is the guy where I think that this could be the guy lead us. Um, anyway, about our, about our game on Saturday, this is going to be a much improved OU Sooners team. I don't, this is not going to be some 49 nothing whitewash of the Oklahoma Sooners. Because Oklahoma is not pushover like. Oklahoma's no pushover. They're a much better team than they were last year. They're a much. They got a. They're gonna be a, they're gonna be a tougher team than they were last year. Their quarterback Dylan Gabriel, he he leads them, completing eleven, or one hundred and eighteen of, one hundred and fifty seven, passes, for, one thousand five hundred ninety three yards and 15 TDs with two interceptions, while Quinn Ewers has 97 of 147 with 1,358 yards and 10 touchdowns and only one interception. We have, our quarterback has only thrown one interception all season, while while Oklahoma's quarterback has has thrown only has thrown two, so seems like quarterback that seems to be a pretty even that seems to be a pretty even evenly matched evenly matched thing. So for running backs, their leading rusher. Um, Marcus Major, he leads the team with um, 51 carries for 199 yards and one touchdown. Um, and our running back, Jonathan Brooks, leads the team with 86 carries for 597 yards and five touchdowns. So. Texas definitely has the edge at running back and um, at receiving Xavier Worthy has 26 catches for 345 yards and three touchdowns while um, Oklahoma well Oklahoma's Andrell Anthony has 22 catches for 387 yards and one TD. So um, it's a pretty. Um, so it looks like it's a pretty. Um, it's pretty. Um, there's it's pretty even playing field there. So um, yeah, and also. Jatavian Sanders, after that injury he suffered against Kansas last week, they say he's going to be good to go. Hopefully, he doesn't re-injure that, re-injure that ankle because because we need him. We're going to need him for this game, and we're going to need him for the rest of the season because he is a big part of our team. He's a pass catcher, and he's also a very, very valuable blocker at tight end. And we need him. 
going to be an exciting game on Saturday. Hopefully Texas comes out of this contest 6-0 and 3-0 and and at Big 12 play. We'll see you later. Hopefully, hopefully the horns will defend that golden hat. We'll see you later. Hook 'em horns, Texas fight, and bring it, Oklahoma. We're coming for you.